clock tower. Clear my head. Don't let him get away! I'm right behind you, scum! Hello, and welcome back to... Is this a glass of champagne, or did he just pee in a cup? How do you like my new superpower, huh? Huh? We got it by falling into the ritual of Walmart. So right now, Garrett's origin story is looking about the same as the Joker's. I swear, losing his eye was the best thing that ever happened to us. If there was a girl's locker room in this city, it'd be the first place we would head to. But instead, falling off a cart has left our balls dangling in the wind, so to speak. Let's see what we have here. The benefits of a strict curfew. Stopping the dreaded gloom is everyone's responsibility. The lockdown of the city streets, like the livestock culls before it, has been observed to have a marked effect. Offer Dr. Troy of Stone Market. It is indeed the most unwholesome interaction of melancholia with the surrounds of the afflicted that causes the spread of this interminable phage. I recommend that all, from the hale and healthy to the infirm, should adhere to curfew. Meanwhile, every citizen may rest assured that the Baron's finest physicians continue to work tirelessly at finding a cure. This is truly a time of great change and progress. Well, there you have it. More politics than we've ever seen in all the other thief games put together. I really hope they don't make us join the resistance. Our only objective is to reach not Big Ben, because Garrett does his thinking better listening to huge fuck-off Metal Gears grinding together. It's basically like listening to Justin Bieber. Ew, we're still carrying Jailbait's dildo. Actually, looking at it again, it looks a lot more like an IUD up close. An improvised unbaby device. When I see the medieval torture devices that women sometimes have to shove up their ho-hos, it does make me feel glad I was born an Audi instead of an any. Plus, it's nice to not suffer from vaginal stigmata every 20-odd days. <laughs> now, if there are any children listening, congratulations, you're now an adult. I have to say I like the fact that there doesn't appear to be any automatic health regeneration. I assume that's what the food items are for. Just a little bit of variety of items that you get to look for in the world. Hear all, hear all! Traitor's gate closed till morning, by Baron's decree! Doesn't appear that we even get the dagger, either. He started out with a sword, because Looking Glass wasn't sure if the whole stealth genre would even work in the first place. Yeah, you probably shouldn't become a politician if you're an unlikable douche. Become a guard, that sounds much more appropriate. Hey, hey, hey! Where do you think you're going? Look down! Well, Exhibit A. The prosecution rests. Shutting the city up like this won't stop the gloom spreading. We're only sitting on the coffin. Sitting on it and getting paid. <sighs> I'm stuck. The watch of Lockdown Stone Market. The one that I had to let a lock hold me back. Ooh, yeah, as you can see, the writing is definitely the number one problem in Thief 4. You just bought me another day in this pit. Well, he's looking the other way. <laughs> Shit! I see someone? Shit, he actually he saw, saw us. I wasn't expecting that. Take that. <laughs> the blackjack, it does nothing. Can he get up here? I better keep looking for a way to go forward. It doesn't look like he can get up here. Wow, so escape is that easy, huh? No wonder there's so many claw marks around every place you can use the claw. Look at that right there. This must happen all the time. So, despite the fact that this society is advanced enough to have indoor lighting, apparently death is still the penalty for thievery. Immediate. No judge, no jury. Good to know. Well, once we get into position, we'll get our vengeance on this guy. One guy by himself shouldn't be too difficult. Hello. Plenty of arrows. Not a whole lot of loot lately, but it does make me wonder how much is scattered around this level. I'm not gonna look in at literally every nook and cranny, though. That would be boring as hell. So besides the writing, I think another problem is how much it borrows from other recent stealth games. Let's see, Corruption, Steampunk... Overbearing guards, a mysterious disease, where have I seen this before? Well, at least Garrett can't get any more dishonored than he already is. That's it, turn around, precious. I got something for ya. Why you would ever pickpocket a guy when you could just knock him out is beyond me. But it didn't go into our inventory. So if I pick him up... Okay, now I get it? <laughs> wow. 
done with you. Now, are there any goodies over here? Nope. My inventory is already full of piss. Can't pick up any more Bud Light. Bear Grylls would be proud. We've come prepared. The lighting is pretty good, I have to say. I think I saw... <laughs> no, can't use the door. So far, every single door in this game has been inoperable. It's kind of funny. As a thief, you can only go in through the window. It's just a rule we have. And of course, us professional cut purses are very big on following the rules. The second rule is follow the waypoints. I still have no idea why we're headed towards this clock tower, but let's be honest, when was the last time you played a game with open, sandbox, sprawl-type levels and no clear goal except trying to find a way to entertain yourself? So, from what I've seen so far, I'm guessing this gloom virus is so named because it makes its victims sad and emo? Maybe it kills them also, I mean, who wouldn't feel depressed if they found out they had terminal ass cancer? But the big question, of course, is will Garrett or Jailbait get infected? When you start getting exposition about a bug that's making people's heads explode like an overripe melon 48 hours after contraction, I figure that's a good source of tension. The main character's probably gonna catch that. Especially if Jason Statham's within 40 miles of the production. But an emo virus? Where's the action in that? What was it invented by Hot Topic? Price on that jeweled mask. Be enough to feed a hundred squawking mouths for a Don't year. Don't you go catching the conscience now. Worse than the suicide like Yeah, it could feed a hundred squawking mouths for a year, or it could feed my mouth for a hundred years. Ah. I wonder what I'll do. I'm also thinking, if Garrett did catch the emo virus, how would we know? He already walks around in full black leather and doesn't give a shit about anyone. They could desaturate the environment, but most of the missions are at night already. His adopted protege already dresses like a vampire, so yeah, I think it might be a few years before anyone even noticed we were sick. Or our ass exploded, and I would notice that, I guess. <laughs> okay, I think we thoroughly pillaged this one little back alley for treasure. Let's head back over and see if we can get into the jewelry store now. Okay, so we've got these two guys on patrol, and there's another guy back there that made the announcement. It looks like we have a few items to clean up on the crates here. Creep forward and yoink. Alright, so this is kind of a wide open area, so I think I'll activate my superpower. I feel like I can think and act faster than normal when I concentrate. You know what happens when they won't spit in the watchman's pint. <laughs> what passes for beer these days needs all the flavor it can get. You got that right, partner. Man, how did a name like Budweiser even become identified as the all-American beer anyways? I thought the Germans were supposed to be good at making things. Especially considering that they practically invented beer. At least you could argue that. Okay, so the guys are headed back the other way, so we should have plenty of time to open this. That is if I don't completely fuck it up. <laughs> if this was Oblivion, I'd have broken about a hundred lockpicks by now. <laughs> what are the lockpicks in Cyrodiil made out of anyways? Paper mache. Okay, I think we've almost got it. Good, alright, those guys will be heading back by now. Let's get inside quick. Here they come. A few guards. Well, shit. Tiptoe over here, don't see me, don't see me. Oh, good, he didn't actually see us, he just noticed that the door was open. Hey, my last girlfriend told me my musk smelled manly. Although she was living in a dumpster before I picked her up. I guess I should be grateful that the Baron's new affirmative action policy is allowing even the blind to become guards. Sometimes I like to pretend that every candlestick I pick up is alive, like in Beauty and the Beast. Be our guest- ah! That's right, you'll fetch a tidy price on the slave market. My next plan is to introduce a fish-based diet to Prince Eric and the Little Mermaid, so that when Ariel finally achieves her dream of becoming human, the first thing she sees is Flounder and Sebastian on a plate, next to a little pad of butter. <laughs> okay, let's knock this guy out. Can you imagine if it was that easy to get knocked out in real life? You bump your head while trying to get off the plane and wake up in Ghana? <laughs> yep, he's definitely out cold. Alright, let's pick him up so we can take his wallet. And let's move him over here just in case there's another guard patrolling around here. That'll be fine. Now there's two asleep guards. Aw, oh, it's like their little nappy room. Okay, time to loot the room! Hmm. These jewels are glass. 
Still, it'll fetch good coin from someone who doesn't know better. I'll see myself out. An upstairs window should get me over that gate. Sheesh, that was a lot of loot. Makes me wonder why Garrett doesn't knock over jewelry stores, banks, and the like more often. It's always forest preserves filled with white trash pagans, Hammerite cathedrals, yeah. I'm sure that's where the big money is. Do you think I'll be able to blackjack this guy? Nah, it doesn't look like it. I'm not getting a prompt. This always worries me sometimes in games where you can knock out just about anything unless they sit down and then they're immune. I guess the game figures he's already unconscious enough as it is, but we're still gonna have to tread carefully so that we don't wake him up. But yeah, at least this shop isn't knee-deep in the undead or staffed by guards whose religion dictates that they all be armed with huge fuck-off mallets at all times. Yeah, if you think Garrett's blackjack is good at knocking a bitch out, imagine what a four-foot hammer, the kind they use to drive in railway spikes, would do to a man's cranium. Well, I take it back. This jewelry store does appear to be haunted by the same people that did the soundtrack to the television show Lost. Alright, let's make our way up the stairs here. It's a good thing that the steps in this house don't creak as much as the ones in my house used to when I would stay up late to purloin cookies. Well, she sounds like a nice old lady. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. So are these actual guards she's hired, or are they just employees and there aren't enough beds for them to sleep in? It's more sleep guards than awake ones. May the courage to not recoil from the poor. <laughs> Sounds like she went to boarding school. Okay, I think I saw her heading over towards that chair. Let's take a peek. Yeah. Now, of course, I could bypass her pretty easily, but nah. <laughs> what? She deserved it. You know, knocking out this old lady reminds me of one of my great experiences from Thief 1. Back when I was in high school, I would bring my laptop into my film and video class, and while the teacher droned on, I'd be playing the Thief 1 demo. Now, it only let you play the first level, but the level was big enough that you could stay occupied for a while. But I ended up playing it so many times that I had to start looking for, um, extracurricular sources of entertainment, you might say. So I would bust into the kitchen, frighten all the servants into running into a corner, then look them in the eye, sap one, and then drag his body back to the kitchen in front of all the other servants. And by now my friend Andrew, also bored, would be watching over my shoulder and he'd look at me like, What are you doing to these poor guys? And so a lot of them would path back around to the kitchen, still wetting themselves and screaming. And one by one, I'd knock them out and throw their bodies into the oven while the other ones watched. And they let out this little sigh like, ah. And Andrew and I were trying so hard not to laugh. Now, if that seems pretty twisted to you, keep in mind that these guys had about four polygons each, and we'd played the game so many times that we were so bored. But can you imagine, one day a guy just breaks into your castle and starts bopping the serving staff on the head, throws them all into the oven, and then just leaves. Chris Matthews would shit himself. 